Hello everyone. Welcome to the final floor of Elizabeth's Dungeon in Fate Extra. C C C. Oh, we're cutting right to them. This is strange. Oi. Oi, Tiba. Omae. Boku no hanashi kiiteru no? We normally keep to a pretty strong perspective of our own, so this is curious that we're seeing this. Taku. Nanda yo choshi kuru na. Kore ga saigo no floor nanda zo. Boinyari shiteru na yo na. Be fair, this is like the ninth time we're giving her her comeuppance. So, her going to blank in the head? I would too! If I got dunked on that many times. Who knows, maybe you'll actually use your real noble phantasm. Huh. I feel like there's a number of... Well, then again, that might just be in this instance. Also, I'm sure there's a lot of people who would hear the name Elizabeth Battery and just go, Sounds familiar. Who? I don't know. You bring back the word pleb and plebeian. They're just fun. They're fun things to say. It's like a more intelligent version of saying noob. It's wild that both you and Nero are just like, you get migraines, that's, that's, that's a character trait, and it affects your personality, because if you have it, then you're real calm and kind of collected, but otherwise, oh geez, you are the opposite. Oh. That is a much better spelling. It's probably super off compared to like the original, you know, uh, Hungarian or whatever spelling, but geez, I can look at that and understand how to say it. Anyways, hi, it's been a while since we've seen you. こんにちは。虫けらさん。順調に迷宮を突破されているようね。辛かったら休校者に戻ってもいいのよ。あなたが失敗しても私が手に入れるのだし、あなたは居てもいなくてもいなし、ただの身の。ビビに何を吹き込
Oh no, right. No, he no, he's dead. Right. I forgot he's he's a ghost of the machine right now. Yeah. Dang. Dang. Bringing out the chess metaphors. That's a, such a stance to take with that outfit. Oh my goodness. That is true. Comedy is the hardest to keep a comedy. Dang. Dang, you're really cutting into him. Wait, wait, uh oh! Huh! Dang! Dang! There's also the parallel of, like, Heaven's Feel with the, you know, the evil Sakura looking one in a very similar position to this, ends up killing him. Except the difference is there he was, like, you know, assaulting her, where here, she's the one doing it to him. Uh, hole? Through his center? Ooh. Ooh. That's strong. That's a good yell. Oh, he's... Yep, no, there he just goes. Wow, that was fast. Oh my god. Wait. You're not gonna be her master. Please don't. Oh. 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 God, that battle might be terrifying. Well, this is a surprise. Huh. Oh, wait. Oh my god, you killed her too. Oh. Oh, no. Well, I guess we got a surprise boss then, huh? 
I slept well and my body feels a lot lighter. My stomach feels settled, so I guess the antacid worked. It feels kind of great, actually. Seems I got plenty of nourishment. That's one thing I want to thank Elizabeth for. Sure hope she's not dead and replaced with someone who's super cruel. That'd be the worst. Good morning, President Zabiko. Great to see your stomach hasn't blown up. There will be no briefing today. As soon as you make preparations, please head to the 15th floor of the labyrinth. Sorry, we've got a lot on our plate to deal with. We have no new information right now, so start your exploration when it suits you. We'll be ready with the labyrinth monitors, of course. Alright, see you there. Sounds like the student council is busy. I won't bother them for no reason, so let's just get ready and head to the labyrinth. Guess we will. Guess we will. Now, the one thing I do remember is apparently now... We can get... Let's just see here. No, okay. Because we to get the final thing with with her, we're gonna wanna. So that's all there. Who's the last one gonna be? I'm real curious. Um. Okay. I have no idea when we get her mystic code that it tells us for for the final SG. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. So can I not even go in? I mean, I still can. And you have a thing. Um, this might not help wash away the taste, but I tried making a bento for you. Please eat it if you'd like. Sakura's special lunch. I hope it's to your liking. I'll be making lots more so I can hand some out to Rin and Rani next. Doing things like exchanging bentos will definitely help liven up the place. What does that do? Is that going to be, like, the best item in the game? I feel like this type of game would be the one where it'd be, like, moderate and heal status effects. Nice. That's really good, actually. Elizabeth cooked more than we, uh, more than we thought she would. More than I thought she would. But it dealt that much damage just from purely its awful flavor. It's extraordinary in one sense. I wonder what spices she used. Well, that's a thing. She probably didn't. The unarmed Shinji boy. Considering it was free software, it did a GJ. I've never heard anyone say that. I gave it four stars on the store. I wasn't a fan of the Avatar's design, so that was a minus. I'm looking forward to the next version. Unarmed Shinji boy. I don't know if there's, there's a pun there or something for it. I feel like... I feel like... There's stuff to that name that I don't fully understand. Is it the fact that it literally lacks arms? Is that is that just it? Or is there like more hello? Oh, hi! I just walked here. Who's that with you? Uh hello? Uh-huh. I run into Kiara Sesuin outside of one of the classrooms. For some reason, she had exited from one of the unused classrooms. One male and one female NPC exited with her. The NPCs rush off without making eye contact, blushing. What did you do? Kiara, what did you do? Huh? <laughs> Hello, Hakuno. The weather today, uh, the sunset today is nice, isn't it? With a gentle smile, she greets me and starts making small talk. I'm not inclined to ask her what she was up to. That aside, I'm lucky to have run into her. Kara stated that she was too powerless to get involved with Bibi, but this is no longer the time for her to be taking things so leisurely. The problem doesn't start and end on just the moon. If Bibi continues and reaches the moon cell's core, every human being on the surface on the Earth will likely be destroyed. Once again, I suggest that she cooperate with us. Cooperate? You say that the Earth is in danger, and Bibi is trying to free everyone from all desire? I was expecting you to say something more... rational. <laughs> Even I won't be fooled by something so silly. Bibi is incapable of something so absurd. She has no reason to do so. Her goal has always been to... Here Kiara's sister and breaks off, placing her fingers against her lips and hushing herself. Does she know what BB's goal is? 
I should know better than to blab. You're just so cute, Hakano. I couldn't help myself. More importantly, Hakano, you say that if humanity is free from all desire, they'll be destroyed. What's your basis for that claim? It seems like Kiara absolutely does not believe in what I'm saying about the fallout from BB's actions. It's understandable. If I hadn't seen those sights myself, I would be doubting it too. I start off by explaining to her about the seven days later simulator in the student council room and its results. Oh my, when did you obtain such a thing? We were raided so recently and yet Ran and R Ran, Ran and Rinny, Rin and Ranny have been busy. They're incredible. Okay, let's say that humanity will be destroyed. Knowing that, I shall refuse to cooperate with you. I kindly ask that you leave it at that. Huh. She flat out refuses. I really don't get this, Kiara Sessuin lady. It won't just be her, all of humanity may perish. Yet she's still watching on how everything plays out from the sidelines? She keeps saving Countless from suffering, but she doesn't care about the lives that'll be snuffed out by this? Correct. It's what I learned from my teacher. I must sound inhuman, but I'm from a school that embraces desire, see? Free your ghosts to the internet sea of stars. Transcend all Maya illusions of this truth that carnality and nirvana are one. Become enlightened. All things which exist are illusions. All is emptiness. Even if our world crumbles so long as there is a digital world, there is hope. People fail to attain truth due to their desire, and they cannot attain truth through rejecting desire. Such sad beings humans are. However, those people who freed their desires upon me obtained full affirmation of their desires. They perished in bliss. One piece of truth is to be freed from desire. If the entire world was freed, desire would be impossible to reject. At the same time, you, who wants to reject that, would also be affirmed. That sentiment you hold is a fine thing. Before, on the surface, everything I did with good intentions turned into something bad. I mustn't repeat those mistakes. That's why I won't do anything. I decided that my desire would be to love whomever loves me. Kiara Sessioing gracefully, gracefully says, as if praying, This is the woman revered as the last saint on the surface. Despite bringing salvation to many, not a single person saved her. I wonder if her perspective is really any different from what regular people like myself have. She completely turned down the offer. I won't be able to coerce her any further. My apologies, Hakano. Please drop the matter. I'm still cowardly when it comes to other people's love. However, I love you from the bottom of my heart. I wish you good fortune in battle. Please, use that grand heart of yours to save the world. Ha. Huh. Do you guys have to say anything about her? I think we read all these. Yeah. This is this is none of this is new. Yeah. Yeah, this is huh. Strange. I'm gonna need to learn more about about that. Um, so let's go to uh well I guess head downstairs. Do you have anything new? Anything of interest, old man? Uh, nope, nothing really there. Yeah, nothing really for us to care too much about. Alright, uh, I do want to maybe go talk to you and just see if there's anything else with you. Right? Or are you just going to be for the rest of the game the same thing? Janaka's new job is Ghost. Talking to me is pointless. Lecturing, pointless. Attacking, pointless. Diet, pointless. A true background character with no collision detection. Seriously, how many times do I gotta say it before you get it? Well. That's her saying that she has no new dialogue, even though she clearly does. Okay, that's the same. So Carnage is gonna be there shaking his head. That's his life now. It's a, it's, a, it's a rough one. That's for sure. Um, I'm curious. Okay, so 
hey, do you have anything to say about Kiara? Now that she's like back? Okay, is this new? Here's Anderson. This boy's words always come by abruptly. Uh, okay, no, this is... Yeah. This is a pick a topic. Okay, that's the same. Alright. Sounds good. Check the library just one more time. Right, making sure there's no books here for us to grab. Does not look like it. All right, so in that case, uh, let's let's just get going. Okay. I have no idea what's gonna happen. It says send an Elizabeth. Ooh, ooh, no past. Okay, I like this place. This is cool. The crystals are nice. Alrighty, sorry about being curt before. We had a hard time making headway on some stuff we needed to investigate. I don't want them to worry about that. The data we collect is meaningful because of the analysis they do on it. I could say I'm not grateful enough. It helps to hear you say that. So, uh, how about we start with the scan? Hmm? It appears to be a very narrow floor, doesn't it? Signs of enemies are sparse. Offsetting that is a powerful enemy, or something, I presume? No, that doesn't appear to be the case. We don't know why, but we can suppose... I suppose we can say that the level of danger on this floor is low. What's going on here? It's the last floor Elizabeth is defending. It's the floor she needs to guard more heavily than the others. And yet, the level of danger is... Low. Maybe some sort of trap. Uh, please go in and be wary. I'll be wary, all right. I say as I just run straight in at the exact same speed I can normally use. Okay, we got we got enemies. They, I guess they said sparse, but not none, right? Hey, what are you? Look at look at his little wiggles. Philophobia. I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm going to defend. I'm going to stun against break. I'm going to attack. I'm going to stun against attack. I'm going to attack. I'm going to guard. Flame board, all right. Good thing I guarded. Yeah, they're starting to use a lot more skills, that's for sure. 8,000 some. Hit. Thousand some hit. Oh my god. And we just have nine HP left. Okay. Just beat him. Wait, wait, will this kill? It did. Cool. Slightly tough enemies. Slightly tough. Not enough that should be an issue, though. Anyways. Yeah, again, healing is the easy part. Uh, we'll deal with these guys because I do want to try and learn their stuff. So yeah, let's do hack against skill. And then that'll stun him there. And then we're going to do um, power up. And then you know what? Let's do attack, attack, attack against guard, attack. All right, here we go. And then power up. Yep. And then... Nice, that's big damage. Hey, that guard. We're gonna level up soon anyways, so we're gonna be We're gonna be getting back our stuff. Yeah. Couple more battles. So I'm not really getting a grasp on the layer. I'm s oh there's a healing fountain right there. Weird. Okay. Do my similar strategy against break. Okay, there we go. Stun, good. Bestial sky. Attack. Do this for the big damage. You need to do it the next turn, huh? 
I thought you could. I thought so. Does it? Does it? Let me read that specifically. Magic increase for one move. Okay, so it's not. It's it's not like you just get it freely, right? Like it's not like you can just you know power it up for the next one. It is specifically your next actual in-game move will be done. Uh oh. Hi. Uh oh. I got. Retry battle? Yes, thank you. I got I got way too complacent. Okay. That's on me. Uh, at least we now know you have to use this here. Right? Alright. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, adding that retry battle. I don't remember that in the last one. I remember it being you die, you die. But that makes it just so much easier. Okay, there we go. I can go and heal also. Sorry, what? Why am I flashing? That was weird. That was very strange. Was that a glitch or was something occurring? I can't tell. Huh. All right. You're doing a skill, so same thing, roughly, right? We're going to do bestial. We're going to do that. We're going to do... Uh, we can just go do stuff, whatever, so not too concerned. Okay, and then that. You should also level me up anyways, so that won't get back the master's MP. Hey, we win. Charm, Gyoku Tenho. What is that? Charm, uh, damages enemies against me Oh, that's the thing that you use in, um... That's fun. That's fun. That's really a lot. Against males critical, huh? Are there any other males... That we're going to be in the game. I don't think so. That's going to be your crazy kick though, isn't it? That's your summer kick, I think. Oh, I want to see it at least. What's regarded as male? Mostly everything in this game is female. Was that in, was that in like extra itself? And was it better there? If it was, that makes more sense. Because here... I literally cannot think of another male who will be fighting. Aside from, like... Okay, you just respond. Aside from, like... Maybe... Robin Hood? But isn't he gone already? I don't know. Weird. Anyways, yeah, there's, like, nothing there. And that's the door. Okay. Yeah, this is a nothing floor. Huh? We took a wrong turn? There's a shield in our way, but it feels like we just started our exploration. Well, it can't be. This can't be the end. No, that is the end of the 15th floor. There only appears to be stairs beyond that point. Oh, well. Really is the end. This is a big problem for us. SG's aside, we still haven't even run into Elizabeth. True. It's possible that Shinji Mato is using some method to conceal Elizabeth. He's acted in this way on previous floors. It may well be a tactic he's using. You two can't meet, then forget us? Geez, it's as simple as that. But is it really possible to completely hide a core offshoot ego? If it were, they could beat us by straight up hiding. I don't know of a way. Some verification is necessary, and the timing couldn't be better. President, please return for now. We have a progress report on a separate matter. We're at a dead end here anyway, so I don't mind going back, but I wonder what this separate matter is about. We'll explain when you get back. Sorry for taking up your time. Can you come to the student council room? We'd appreciate it. That sounds like a we don't want someone monitoring the airwaves to be here sort of thing, which is curious. Oh, we are brought right back. Huh. 
Aha, uh -huh, indeed. Oh, and now you're here. You weren't here before. Unleashing the people's desires. Perhaps Bibi's objective is her duty as a health management AI taken to the extreme. However, it only applies to their minds. Human happiness lies in the union of mind and body. Her ideals are too underdeveloped. I'm no match for her, but you're capable of putting her wicked intentions down, Hakuno. Please don't submit to her. The way you are, you won't lose to a rogue AI such as her. Well, I might, considering apparently I'm not going for the golden ending on this run. So we'll see. I have no I am I, I have no clue what will determine what ending I'm on. Not not a one. Not one. I, it sounds like some people have hinted that I'm already on the bad end, like the, the, the regular servant end, but I don't know. Okay. That would be very helpful. I think I know one servant in Meltrilis. I don't know them all. Of course! Alter egos are servant composites. Maybe one of the goddesses Meltrilis is based on has a relevant background. Okay。I didn't know she could pull all that off. It's a surefire method, but is there any risk, I wonder? Sakura's near the point of exhaustion. If something were to happen... To protect you against essence dissolution. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess that's why they told me to come back to the student council room. So long as I'm here, Sakura's tasks won't go up. What? Makes no sense to you. Oh, yeah, that's um. We don't have that time. Yeah. That's, that's still a lot. Huh. That's funny. Summer BB in FGO is Pele. Don't know anything about Haridi. I think it's less invincible and more, um, evade. An authority, you might even say? Huh? Nani, Tirino? Sonna, no, Ariana, Tiba. Default 
い無敵だって言うの<笑>もう一度今度はより深く調べてみますそうすればえ<笑> oh oh no this is what I was worried about this is exactly what I was worried about like as soon as it's like oh yeah I'll hack ahead I'm like, uh, yeah, you're the same model. Isn't that possibly a bad thing? This is the exact thing I was worried about. Sakura's body flickers as if jolted by something. Her eyes are blank and her body is spasming. Terrifying. Three layers of black ice? What is that? How come that sounds familiar? Huh. Oh, jeez. Oh, you are like such a next level compared to Passion Lip for like what you can do. This voice, it's Meltrilis's. Did she even break into a, the school, a safe zone? Well, we did give her a direct path. メルトリリスは校舎には入れません。ええ、その通りよ。今井マシュケル。その場所だけは私も手の出せない安全地帯。ま、リップなら壊せたでしょうけど、あの子はもういないし。ここは私流の攻め方をさせてもらったわ。部
これぐらいのピンチ何度だってクリアしてきたわまあ今回はさらにヤバいけどでも限界までさくらを守り抜いてみせる望みはあります量子化電脳体へのハッキングなら接衝員キアラに知識があるはずです Well, geez, wouldn't it be nice if she would help us? Oh. Multicolored tranquility, 10,000 colored stagnation. What is it? That's also a. The phrase, the greatest taboo in all of cybercrime, is one of the coolest phrases I've ever read. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! Yeah, that's, that's a problem. The multicolored tranquility, 10,000 colored stagnation. I can't wrap my head around how it works yet, but it sounds like we need Kiara's help to save Sakura. I need to meet with Kiara as soon as possible to discuss the situation. Even though there's like no way she'll do it because she already said she's not gonna help us. Great. We're gonna go there and she's gonna be like, oh, wait, you want my help? Sorry. I'm an enlightened centrist. I believe both sides are bad. Destroying the world and protecting it. You want to borrow my code cast? Give it up. It's not something you young ones can sink your teeth into. It's a narcotic that provides the fleeting pleasure she seeks, yet is loath to mention, as much it befits this filthy feline. Pleasure leads to the pearly gates, the sort of justification typical for this woman to use for her evil deeds. Why do you need it? It's true that the multicolored tranquility, 10,000 colored stagnation, is a dangerous code cast because networks have become the foundation for human society, an ability which can utilize networks to dominate others is equivalent to the ability that dominates the world. But right now, we have to depend on it, even if it's taboo. The student council room has been hacked by Meltrilis, and the multicolored tranquility, 10,000 colored stagnation, is necessary to save Sakura. I'll explain all this to Kiara very quickly. Now this is precarious. I fully understand what you're saying, but I really do have a problematic nature. Yeah. Yeah. That's the first thing I learned about CCC is 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 everything involving that word with this game. Here Sesuin looks downwards uneasy. She's probably right to feel reluctant. And the reason is because I'm not only inquiring about the existence of a code cast considered to be the greatest offense in cyber history, I'm asking to borrow it. Um, I'm uncertain as to what to say. I also hope it can help you, Hakno. But in return, I won't get, um, get in return? Did she say she won't get anything in return? Well, she is lending me something that belongs to her. Of course she should get something in return. I didn't expect her to bring up something like that, though. Kiara Sesuin has always exer exercised foresight. She's resolute. Possesses an enlightenment normal people won't reach and is beyond good and evil. Even she's thinking in this way. I never expected her to do something as materialistic as, like, refuse because she won't get anything in return. There's nothing off here. Simply put, this vile woman would, for the sake of her own ego, save or even kill hundreds of millions of people. But if someone won't satisfy her pleasure, she won't lift a single finger. Like a child who doesn't want to get out of bed. She'll welcome you with open arms if you jump into her bed. But she would hate to get up, even to peel an apple. Ah, <sighs> Mr. Anderson. All the ladies will end up disliking you if you keep speaking your mind so freely, you know. Ha! Huh. As if I would ever date a woman who hates me for speaking my mind. Who in the hell would enjoy my vitriol anyway? <laughs> Indeed. Only someone like you can see my true intentions. Who would have thought the famous fairy tale writer was like this? Fate truly is ironic. Now then, Anderson? I know. Give these young ones something to give me, right? 
really now. How filthy can you get? Young lady, sorry, but this is an order from my master. We shall take our leave off to somewhere in the labyrinth. If you want this, come. Why are why are you why are you doing this? What's going on? Anderson pulls out a massive book and after muttering something, the two of them vanish. They didn't just run away, did they? Makes no dang sense. Just what is that brat thinking? Huh? His master's the one you don't get? Hmm. Percy, I don't care much about her. That Kiara woman isn't worth being understood. That brat, on the other hand, how do I put it? He's got that instigating, I'll be the one that takes you down sort of thing going on. Frankly, I can't understand why someone as resourceful as Anderson bothers to rouse a creature like her. Well, whatever. Let's go search the Labyrinth Master, darling. They've got to be on the lowest level. I guess we're just continuing now back to where we were. We're going to do all this and Sakura will be dead. She's going to be melted and it'll be over. Go after Kiara. Yes, that means this is a solo instance. All right. Oh, smells pious in here. They seem to be somewhere on this floor. Let's catch them pronto. I may end up having to fight that brat, but I'm also hoping for it. Oh, that. Hey, we could use our new skill. Considering I also have a caustic tongue. Uh, and I also know the Dakini deity rights. I shall prove once and for all who's the best among all us. Who the best among all us is. Among us all, rather. I avoided that word. My brain was just like, you're not going to say it. Don't say it. Uh, in that case, are you guys in the middle? Oh, you guys are. Yeah. Is there a way to get by without touching the enemy? Looks like it. Hey, look at this. Ah! Never mind. Well. Uh, skill. And... You know, we'll use that later there, because if we're fighting... If we actually get a chance to fight him... Heck yeah. Just to make sure we win. Just do that there. Okay, whoops, I should have done the other one. Stun... Bestial Sky, Fiery Heaven, oh yeah, you're done, nice, big crit, okay, so, cool, 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 so, they have a thing in front of them, but I don't think we're going to be fighting them, it's going to be some other mission or something, hi, Uh huh. Uh huh. Right by the save fountain, huh? Kiara says here knows waiting in the labyrinth for us. She isn't panicking and isn't hostile. She's standing there like a white lily, as she always does. Huh? I wanted your brain gun. She smiles and it's like being soaked in pure water, like overflowing honey. Maybe a little late for this, but now I sort of understand how all the people took their own lives in pursuit of Kiara Sesuin felt. She's a saint and a witch. Kiara Sesuin is an evil bodhisattva with a blend of integrity and seductiveness. <laughs> Me pursuing you? That's enough? What? Wait, what? Kerstin speaks to me extremely obscenely. I can't discern her true motives. Is she pure? Is she wicked? Is she someone worth trusting? Perplexed as I am, Kara looks at me tenderly, smiling. No, I feel it's pretty easy to tell who's good and evil. I'm gonna be real. I 
木々万色幽体どうぞお受け取りをあなたなら無事使いこなせるでしょう That's just it, huh? Tiara holds out her hand. In her hand is a code cast crystal. The basic program is loaded on it. It's the forbidden technique which drove many people to insanity, to destruction. She offered it to me with only the words, I want to trust you. Oh, you weren't joking about the fire thing. Strange. Strange. Why are you. You're literally pursued. You had so many people pursue you, they all killed themselves. What are you talking about? Okay. Tara said something unthinkable, like. Sounded like an ashamed maiden. The heavy reply also leaves Caster speechless. Yeah, she for sure is the embodiment of a lure. She could lead anyone, man or not, astray. I'm gonna be real. If I was around you all the time, I would probably go down that path too. Alright, maybe not that. Yeah, maybe not that far. Yeah, maybe not that far. さすがにああ。おお、what's I just want to turn over to Tamomo and be like, so should we leave or? The two of them rev up their usual quarrel. Well, I guess one could say, one could look at this and say their master servant relationship is healthy. Yeah, literally. Uh oh Oh Really Really Huh It was a split second Blood sprays from Kiara's stomach We sensed no presence and there was no bloodlust there's only a gush of blood now spraying about. Really? God, you are, yeah, again, like the most ruthless character. Are you gonna go like, yeah, you gave them a thing. That means you're against us. Again! Just for good measure, huh? Kiara's lips wrench in agony. Meltrilis, face flush, takes in Kiara's pained face and voice. She's toying with her. Like a female 
female praying mantis relishing in the male's death throes right after cop copulation. Really? I mean, I guess that's better than all the mollusk metaphors. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think they killed her voice actor in the booth. Really? In Meltrilis, there is no mercy. Kiara Sesuin was ruthlessly split in half, and she disintegrated while experiencing torturous pain. Next, when the master is terminated, the servant follows suit. Anderson, unscathed, begins disintegrating from his limbs. <laughs> She's like, God, I hate women. <笑>見れんがましい遺言なんぞ。この that's me, I'm the suitor, I guess. Huh. That's kind of spitting. Saying that. Anderson then pulls out a book. The title is The Emperor's New Clothes. That's ironic, because she's big naked. One of hands... Oh, he did The Emperor's New Clothes! Oh, wow. Didn't even know that. One of Hans Christian Anderson's is masterpieces. It's a fairy tale about a sea of liars and a single honest person. I mean, yeah, you can break it down to that. This <laughs> is what did you do? Oh. Oh, that's fun. That's a fun skill. In that instant, Castor and I vanished from the labyrinth. It's not forced extraction logout, it's just like the green archer's invisibility skill. Hey, he came in and helped us at the end. <laughs> さあ、今まで見届けられないのは表紙抜けだが、俺もそろそろ退場と愛なろうか。お嬢さん、そしてそのサーバント。あとはお前たちの仕事だ。少子民らしく懸命に当たり前の幸福を守るがいい。Let's see with how much money we are. We have. We kind of are bourgeoisie. Yeah, I mean, you can't see us, so... Caster's right. While the invisibility Anderson casts on us is in effect, we'll break away from Meltralis. It's too early to take her on. Right now, we need to bring back the multicolored tranquility we obtained. So Kiara's... dead. Hmm... I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. No, I, I, I feel like that's that's fake. That's a fake out. That's not real. It's a gaff, a goof. Ah, so this is Kara Sessarin's special codecast for penetrating minds. The body, mind, and soul components of our digital forms are spiritualized, but this seems to spiritualize one even further. Within the Seraph, it'll separate out just your consciousness, your offshoot and let it sneak into whatever area we want. She was a genius, but a heretical one. 
Due to her perspectives, her ideas, her knowledge, and her lack of morality to question them. Well, it's not nice to say things about the dead. Let's focus on this. That's right, let's focus on Sakura, who pushed through her poor state to support us. We can't afford to sit around and lose her. Now, let me warn you of a few things before we begin. Entering a cyber frame brings danger with it. Since Sakura's an AI, we can control her defense mechanisms, but a battle against the Melt virus probably can't be avoided. Also, I'm concerned about what Meltrilis mentioned about this special bee. Please go in well prepared. Yes. All right. I finished analyzing the whole code cast. We can boot it up whenever, so give us a shout once you're ready. Concerning Sakura's cyber frame, you can freely enter and exit her cyber body. However, return crystals can't be used. Okay. So, something I want to do, though. I do, I do want to check. Hey, what's the route split? Um, and I feel like this might be spoilers, but I, I, I want to know. Fate extra CCC route split? Let's see here. Let's see. Um, I'm trying to do... There are six endings in the game. Normal ending, four servant endings, CCC ending. To get the servant end, you need all three SG with your chosen servant and finish the game. For the CCC route, you need to make specific choices after buying Sakura her new uniform. Oh, is that it? Well, frick. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do a new route then. Sure. That's fine. Great. All servant SGs are required to do the servant ending. Um, let's just see. I'm just doing a quick read. Um, yeah. So... I missed the CCC route, essentially. Well, that's good. That means that we have to do that other playthrough that I was going to do anyways. I didn't know that was a thing. Well, that one choice does it, huh? All right. Ready to take the plunge? We're ready whenever. Uh, you know what? I'm going to... Uh, uh, give me a sec. Going unprepared? We're all doomed. We're on sta full standby until you're ready. Okay. You know everything you say? Main preparations. We're taking position to jump back. Uh, nope. Not yet. Okay. Okay. Where prudence is needed from you today compared to the usual. Huh. So is this like the actual like end of the labyrinth and then we do this for the ending? Or I don't know. I truly don't know. Do you have anything to say? No, nothing? Okay. I just, I because I do want to, if, if we're going for her ending, right? We want to get that. So let's go with Fate Extra CCC Tamamo SG. How do we get her uh, her last one there? Because I'm real curious. Um, let's see here. SG3 Chapter 7. What chapter are we on? We're in Chapter 5. Oh, Chapter 7. Oh, never mind. We are not. We're 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 a bit away from. We're a bit away from that. Okay, cool. Yeah, chapter seven. We need to do. Okay. So we're not as close to the end as I thought. Um, you know what? Uh, maybe we'll go give it a try. Should we? I don't know. I don't know how long it's gonna. I don't know if it's gonna be a full dungeon or something, right? Because I feel like we're good for what we need. Ah, we'll give it a shot. We'll we'll go in and at least see if it, if it's gonna be a lot, then we'll pull out. But if it's just a if it's just gonna be a hallway with enemies, we can do it. All right, ready to take the plunge? Yeah, I guess let's go. Got it. All right, let's have you dive into the world of Sakura's mind. It says we can leave, so I don't know what's gonna be like. Are we doing a soccer labyrinth into a soccer labyrinth? Whoa. Whoa, this is Fade Extra Original. Maiden's Depths, Inner Core Orgasm. 
The light of the code cast fades, and I see a different landscape laid out before me. We're inside Sakura, not inside a body of flesh, but rather inside a digital frame. There's nothing grotesquely graphic about this digitized structure. Enter Casco! I'm in tip-top shape. Refilled magical energy MP, absolutely no issues. His place is pretty desolate. Looks like Casco can materialize normally. Okay, let's quickly get rid of this Vira. Oh. What? Took you long enough, squarely. What's the big idea with making me wait? You're in here. Elizabeth? She's a Sentinel of Labyrinth. Why is she inside Sakura? Or here? Not a very perceptive farm animal, are you? If I'm here, that means only one thing. I changed managers. Manager? Her master changed? And she's no longer Shinji's servant. She's Meltrilis's? Yes. That woman is my manager now. She's pretty awful, isn't she? See, after she melted me down, she reconstructed me as a virus for her to use. Thanks to that, here I am. I became nano-sized, and now I'm hacking this girl's body. nano size. Well, since we're infiltrating a digital body, it makes sense for us to worry about the size, but I get the sense that we're playing by different rules. I get it. Your body is in the student council room. Only your soul was sent in. For Elizabeth, it looked like she entered the cyber frame as her whole self. Basically, she's the boss of the Melt Virus. Uh, there are some noisy people outside. Be quiet, will you? Make too much trouble for me and I'll kill this host instantly. Kill instantly? Yep, killing her would be easy enough. A blow to the brain will turn her into an invalid. I won't, though, since this body belongs to me. Meltrilis said so. You can have this body. This girl won't turn into Meltrilis. She'll turn into Elizabeth Battery. Then I'll be back in business. I won't be a servant restricted by a master. I'll be able to live whole and free as a life form rooted in this world. You, you mean you'll hijack Sakura? An AI, so you can be reborn. Yep. She's not as nice as me, but she has a pretty face. <laughs> Once the virus circulates throughout her body, my data will overwrite her. I mix in a special B. I'm certain Meltrilis mentioned that. This can't be happening. At this rate, we won't just lose Sakura. We'll gain another enemy. I refuse. You become my senpai's enemy. I don't want that. Oh, still conscious, are we? Not bad. Still... <gasps> Kya! Did you forget? I can do this at any moment and have you killed off. Before long, the border of your ego will finish melting. You'll either be gone, you'll be gone either way, so you don't want it to hurt, right? This is a disaster for you two as well. There's nothing left for you to do but melt away inside me. That's what we get for meddling. See? That's the kind of woman she is. But something feels a little off. Sabiko, hurry. The virus is spreading faster. Whoa. Whoa, what's this music? Looks like we're racing against time. Let's head quickly for the end. Okay. Oh, we didn't even get a chance to look at anything. We merged into an odd space. A cluster of gates stand before us. There must be some meaning behind it. Oh boy, if only... Yeah, like, come on. This is easy. <gasps> a barrier came down to the passage we entered from. Let's we'll say we're completely sealed in. This is the inside of Sakura's digital... I love this song. It's the inside of Sakura's digital frame. It's strange for there to be a setup like this inside her. Women, am I right? All them traps inside of them. すっごく甘くてとっても吸い戸でしょ。うわ。ボスらしく王座で踏ん反り返っていれば、まだ威厳を保てたものをわざわざやってきてバカのを晒すとか、呆れるのを通り越して哀れですね。よし。ここでその
It's not a class. That's not a class. If that is, then we got several servants who should change to that. I never knew this was possible, so I wonder what Elizabeth's class is now. Is she gonna be assassin? Like, back to her... Carmilla self, or...? This looks like a ridiculously simple puzzle. This looks stupidly easy, I'm gonna be honest. うるさい Oh, you're dumb too. I forgot. Elizabeth's puzzle. Do you really have to tell us? Wait, blue will open two blue. Yellow will open one yellow. However, when that does, another yellow will close. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's literally no difficulty. Oh my god, is that it? Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> okay, there's more. No way, you figured it out? Well, the first one's always pretty easy. Elizabeth's voice echoes from where I can't tell. I solved the puzzle, so I wanted to keep to her promise and tell us what her class is now. Guess I have to. Listen and be amazed. Previously, I was a singing, stabbing, lance-wielding idol. Now, I'm the singing, dancing, lunatic, berserker idol, Elizabeth Battery. Wrong. You're obviously all brawn, no brain. Does that make you a macho idol? Where in the world is that popular, my heart? In my heart and soul. I've been to the Muscle Girl Bar. That's great. That singing voice of yours is exactly like a berserker's yell, yeah? Gwa! Gwa! I'm special. <laughs> you sure are. Would you mind not lumping me with other berserkers? I'm under mad en madness enhancement, all right. Completely under it, actually, but I won't be letting go of myself. After all, I've been crazy from the very start. Wow. <laughs> Looks like I impressed you so much that you have no words. Now come after me. I'll keep playing around with you. I hope the next puzzle is just as easy and them to continue being like, you'll never solve this. Heat Haze. Or Heath Aze. Alright, let's just start with this. Ow. Ow. Yay! Hit that for the stun. Okay. Blast... Blast Crisis is a cool name, but ouchie! Ouchie, don't like that. That's not good. That's really bad. Pop that, and then also pop... What's the one that we have with low HP? Uh, inflict poison and damage. Let's, you know what, let's go... Let's not do the code cast. Let's do that, because why not? Uh, I think we'll survive against whatever it is. Right? We'll give it a shot. I want to see what it looks like. Uh, and then we'll do the heal. And then you'll just have to... Guard, guard. Attack. Break, attack. Alright, let's see here. 
That's a lot of damage. That's actually super worth it. It wasn't. It was actually an accident. Um, let's go with... Because it heals her easy. That attack is really strong, though. Ether Crystal, hey, look at that. Oh, that's embarrassing. All right, well. I really like the song here. It's really good. It's kind of simple, but... Okay. Yo, the floor being the DNA is pretty sweet, actually. All right, well, let's go. Can we just run... Oh, I was gonna say, can we just run through with them open? That'd be cool, too. Oh, it's gonna be so easy. It's Elizabeth again. I'm glad that every moment she spends messing with us delays her assimilation with Sakura, but it's getting a little old, really. <laughs> Is she just the proto papyrus? In this case, she feels like it. Alright, what are you asking us? Uh-huh. Um, uh-oh. Um, if this is based on Sakura, I have bad news about that last part. Wait, what? But up until what age? Uh... I don't know. Forever? Until you're 30? Until you're 20? I freaking... I don't know. Is there... Is there any actual repercussions here? Yeah, until you're 20 you should be fine. Because <laughs> by that point, get it over with. Learn that it's not that great and get back to living life. I'm going to be honest. It's fine. It's sometimes kind of fun. But, like, it's not that great. Get it over with. Congrats. You're now officially a member of society. Now people can't make fun of you for that thing. Get back to finding other things to enjoy. Like cooking. And playing video games. And, like, experiencing life. Going on vacation. That's way more fun. That thing is, you do it one, like, you do it and you're like, yeah, it's fine. But you're done. And then that's it. I just want an answer out of reflex, maybe because Elizabeth sounded so honest. In modern society, especially developed countries, the number of people who fuss over that sort of thing are decreasing. I answer, actually those who stay one should say chased forever if need be are in the minority. <laughs> yeah, no one really cares about that anymore. Dang. <laughs> oh, I love seeing her break character. In any case, Elizabeth left. Let's get this puzzle over with and keep going. All right, let's grab this item because it's right here. I'm just waiting for one of them to be like, oh yeah, by the way, the puzzle that you're supposed to solve, um, it's already actually solved. And if you touch any, you lose. 
like, just go, go right now, and you'll get a chance to go through it, you know, and, and do your stuff. So let's just see here. So we can't do anything just yet, okay? And I don't think there's any other items or anything. So I'm guessing this is a different... Okay, so that's a yellow that goes there. Okay, we hit the red. Okay. Again, it opens up one of them. That means we can now go here. We flip this again. So she got stuck here. Even... She got stuck here. Even while trying randomly. Are you serious? Oh, she's stupid, stupid. Let's go around. This is... Is this... Like, I know Nasu is into, like, giantesses and stuff. But, like, is this technically... Because we're small? Does that count? Also, you got stuck on this? Oh, you're so stupid. Wow, you're so stupid. And that's a wrap. Now let's have ourselves an easy chase after that at Horn Girl and have ourselves a real fun time. Yeah, like dying to this dude. That'll be fun. What is this? Reckless. I feel like he's going to pop a skill. I'm going to then do just a break. I'm going to do stun against break. I'm going to do uh, the up. I'm going to do against attack. I'm going to do attack. I'm going to do attack. All right, let's see here. No, he wasn't. Okay. Let's see. That stun. He doesn't have a ton of HP, actually. We should be good. There we go. Goodbye. What are you blocking? What are you holding on to? Another ether crystal. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh! Hi! You're inside of your sister, and not in the Stay Night way. It's you. Shinji, what are you doing here? Meltrilis got me. She sliced up my data as small as it would go, then tossed me away, mixed me right into the virus. My contract with Elizabeth was voided, and I have no way of getting out. May as well be a death sentence. Shinji snickers. Which is strange, because he's not himself when he's hungry. Normally, he wouldn't accept this disgraceful state, though. Maybe he's suffering from the despair of being abandoned. At any rate, I'm glad he's alright. I try asking if Rin and Rani can send Shinji back to the school. <sighs> Out of curiosity, what are we supposed to do with him after we send him back? He might not be Elizabeth's master anymore, but that doesn't change the fact that he's a traitor. Sure, maybe that's the case here, but he looks just like him. The one who stood by our side in that perilous fight. The unarmed Shinji boy! How can I abandon such a being? Hold on. I'm the one that thing was based on. Well, I figured you would say something like that. I have plenty of mine to give Shinji's, but I'll let it rest for now. Be thankful to Zabiko and Kiara. We have the software to convert you even after you've been turned to a virus. I'll transmit the entrance's coordinates. Shinji Mato, you be on standby there. Ms. Zabiko, please continue with expelling the virus. Returning to the entrance means... But Shinji has no servant. I wonder if we can make it alone. Of course I can make it. Who do you think I am? There's an exit. I can make it there on my own. Besides, all the concern makes me more miserable than I need to be. Pick up what I'm putting down, will ya? It's going to be real rough if you're walking that slow, bucko. It's going to be real tough, but you do you. All right, what are what are you? You look like uh like the like the the Holy Grail. 
mixed with the little green earring that made Sakura go crazy. Um, I'm going to do against uh, break. I'm going to do double up. I don't even really need to double up. Let's just do another one there. All right, we should be good then. All right. No stun. All right. Even. Oh, you poisoned. Oh, you poisoned us and you look like the earring. That's a nice reference. I like it. I didn't even. Yeah, I didn't even put that together. Cute. Look at that. Small, small references to to stay night there. And thankfully, that is cured already. Okay, I see. I see what we're doing. Can we not? I mean, I saw that earlier, but okay. Are we going to have another like 15 minute scene of her coming out and being like, you'll never solve this puzzle? There's literally no way to screw up these puzzles. Godly. Godly. God puzzle. Wow, no, she's just out. I see an item right there. Okay, I mean, it seems like there's a little bit, but, like, not much. And then that seems like the end, so... All right. Yeah. So... Okay, well, I guess we'll do that. Oh, no, these items we can't get to. Okay, so we got the first one here. Are we crest worms right now? We're kind of crest worms. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how to feel about that. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I was going to say, we need to do something else. That opens up that. Which means that we can now open up this. And go back this way. Okay. I'm... I'm literally just walking. Yeah, I don't, that closed another one somewhere. Oh, this one? Okay. Yeah, reds? Reds you can just hit. You're good. Okay, so I want to try and get to there when possible. I didn't even see which one that opened. Uh-huh. Let's see. Let's just click it again. It's already activated. Oh, never mind. We can't reactivate it to see which one it opened. Cool. Probably that one over there? this one that one okay okay means we grab this item they're just blue items they're just small things this is new is that gonna be that yep okay all right yeah boy without random encounters this is just kind of the easy right the lack of random encounters has turned this area into just nothing is that a rare one Ma Ma Maleficent Garments. Okay, what is that? That sounds good. Let's see here. Uh, negates all stat buffs. Huh. Set of clothes that radiate pure evil and malice embroidered with countless lizards. Negates stat buffs. That could be solid, but I prefer having a heal and stopping noble phantasms. Stopping noble phantasms in particular feels like the most important thing you need in a game like this, you know? You know, I need to go across there, which I need to get. Is this activated? Wait, no, that that one needs to be activated. Okay. And we're going to hit this. So I can do that. Yep. Okay. Again, none of this is really hard. In fact, I'd make the argument that it's quite silly. The only thing we need is to get into that one there, which we get through, yeah, seemingly just there, or no, we need to hit this yellow, I think. Yeah, and now we can get in. All right. Some money. All right, well. 
Ta-da! That was like nothing. Okay, let's, 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 uh... We'll take a few of these just in case. Ah, it should be fine. Should be fine. Servant MP, though. Give you some of that. There we go. We should be good. All right. Unless, uh, hopefully you give us a save point or something. Well, we don't even need to because we have retry, but... Be nice if you gave us an actual heal or something. No, I'm just surrounded by idiots. Judging by Elizabeth's reaction, this was apparently the last puzzle. Give up and leave Sakura's body, and when I take a step forward and assert this, cast her suddenly whispers in my ear. Oh. Good, because we need that last one. Wow, Elizabeth's third secret, the one we weren't able to obtain in the labyrinth. Oh, you're going to get her mad. Oh, is it... Is it just going to be the secret that she's stupid? Is it just going to be that you're dumb? She did the full bow and everything. あたし、狐と話す趣味はないんだけど、手間さら命乞いかしら。どんな死に方をするか、それが知りたいの。え、恥ずかしさのあまり悶絶しする。そんな光景が見たことございます。ただし、あなたのね。何よ、そのすっご
<laughs> we are just breaking her. Elizabeth breaks off mid-sentence, face flushing red like a flame. I empathize. Took everything I had not to run off after hearing those lines coming out of Caster. I'm so curious how this goes with some other servants. It's got to be so different. Again, argue she she may or may not be literally a country ruining she devil. We still don't know. We still don't know. God, that was like I was so sure. It's like oh she's dodgy. It's like no, nah, well I don't know. It's like oh I don't know either. Now this information I would also like to know. I probably knew before I fell to the far side of the moon. <laughs> Oh, wow, there she go. Huh. Huh. Five dynasties. That makes me wonder. Makes me wonder. That sounds Daji esque. I mean, we know your history. We know your history. Caster, she's one scary servant. Pressing further on the matter would be dangerous. It'll just come back to bite me. Let's collect ourselves, clear our heads of this blood and that rushed up, and go after Elizabeth. I'm going to assume there's going to be a save point. Or is there going to be just a whole other area? Are we moving on to, like, a new floor? This is floor zero. Hello? Oh! Well, here we go. Yeah, we're going to be doing it. We're going to be doing it, doing it next time. Which I think, wait, is there a save point? There is, good. Okay, I'm going to say then that we, oh, uh, well. You could put, that took us down, missy. Oh, geez, she had herself quite a shock, didn't she? She's totally locked up in her own mind. Uh, this thing is in my thought core. It's awful, it's too much. This relief is, in a sense, her true self. It must be toppled in order to expel the virus. But our way into the relief disappeared along with Kiara. Topple it, but how? You're capable of entering as you are now. You know how you're just a spirit thanks to the multicolored tranquility? That's exactly the same form you need to enter the relief. So touch your leaf, and if you think about wanting to enter, you should enter without issue. I believe you understand, but once inside, you'll face off against Elizabeth. As always, please don't neglect your preparation. Which is why I'm going to say we're going to do that next time, guys, where we move on for some more Fate uh, Extra CCC. Uh, as we... Uh, this went very much in directions I didn't expect. So we'll have to see. Thank you all for watching, guys. We'll see you then for that. Some more next time. Ciao. Yo. Yeah.